five foods you should never wash before cooking, and five you always should. When it comes to the foods we eat, when is it appropriate to know which foods you should wash and which foods you should not wash? This is something most people perhaps don't even think about when purchasing their food from a grocery store, but it certainly is something you should start thinking about. There are many different people and machines that handle our food before it arrives at the supermarket. On occasion, some of these products have been sprayed with harmful pesticides or preservatives that we cannot eat. On the contrary, there are also foods that many people think it is wise to wash. However, this is not actually the case when you talk to professional chefs. Foodborne bacteria like Salmonella, Norovirus, E. coli, or Listeria find many different ways to grow and loiter on foods we like. However, there are some basic rules to these bacteria that, if followed, will make food preparation and cooking safe for everyone. As always, before we begin this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Now, let's explore the food you should never wash and always wash before cooking. Number one, never wash, chicken. Believe it or not, many people think rinsing off their chicken before cooking to remove any present bacteria is a good thing, but this process is actually very wrong. Any water that drips off the chicken onto the floor or on the counter or your hands or anywhere for that matter will add pollutants wherever they go. Many people don't know it, but washing raw chicken before you actually start cooking it can significantly increase your risk of food poisoning. This food poisoning can be caused by Campylobacter bacteria. For example, when water splashes from chicken from underneath a tap and splashes onto our hands, counters, clothing, and cooking tools, it transfers the bacteria onto those items. Did you know that droplets of water can travel more than 50 centimeters in any direction? Believe it or not, only a few Campylobacter cells are required to cause food poisoning. Campylobacter is even one of the most common causes of food poisoning all over the UK. Symptoms associated with Campylobacter food poisoning include stomach ache, diarrhea, vomiting, and more. To prevent this from happening, cover your raw chicken and be sure to store your chicken at the bottom to ensure that the juices from the chicken do not drip onto other foods and items in your fridge and risk contaminating them. Be sure to avoid washing raw chicken at all costs and make sure that you always thoroughly clean your utensils and chopping boards that were used while you were preparing the raw chicken. You should always wash your hands with soap after handling any raw chicken to prevent the spread of bacteria. Finally, be sure to cook all your chicken thoroughly and ensure that the meat is not pink inside when you are done cooking. Salmonella, which commonly grows on chicken, is a bacteria that is destroyed when the chicken reaches 165 degrees. It's crucial to have the food cooked to this temperature before consuming it. Therefore, rinsing the chicken will do you no good other than to add bacteria to places that it doesn't need to be. Number two never wash eggs eggs contain their own protective layer that isolates any bacteria away from the inside egg think of it as nature's very own tupperware washing your eggs will actually remove the protective layer on the outside risk your eggs of going bad faster and risk contamination many farmers actually put the eggs through their own cleaning process before sending them out into supermarkets so by washing them again, you're interrupting this process. Number three, never wash, fish. Much like chicken, washing raw fish will not eliminate the bacteria. It will only spread it to other surfaces. A wet, dripping raw slice of fish added to your cutting board will ensure that you ruin your cutting board as well by introducing bacteria into the cracks. This will also rob your fish of its ability to hold flavor. Cooking your fish to the appropriate temperature will ensure that any bacteria is killed off. Number four, never wash 
pasta. Cooking experts and chefs state that washing pasta before cooking it is never a good idea. The reason for this is because when you wash pasta, the water removes the starch that absorbs pasta sauce. The starch on pasta keeps the noodles sticky, making it much easier for the sauce to stick to. If you want to wash pasta, it's best to do it after cooking. Number five, never wash mushrooms. Most experts state that you should avoid washing your mushrooms before cooking them. While it's all right to rinse your mushrooms, you should avoid soaking them at all costs. This is because mushrooms tend to absorb water extremely well. They should only be washed right before cooking. Otherwise, they can spoil quicker and lose their elasticity. They can also turn slimy once stored after being washed. What do you think so far? Now, keep watching to find out what foods you should always wash. Number six, dried canned foods. Foods like kidney beans, canned corn, canned potatoes, canned peas, or canned tomatoes contain preservatives and brines that may be harmful to human digestive systems. Consuming these brines can make you sick and they should always be rinsed off. Other canned goods like sauces, baked beans, and soups are safe to consume. It's always a good practice to wash off the can before you open it. Number seven, always wash fresh fruits and vegetables. Many fresh fruits and vegetables, yes, even the ones with skin, may contain pesticide sprays, preservative sprays, or plain old dirt from the farm. You should always try to wash your fresh fruits before cutting them, slicing them, peeling them, or chopping them. Even foods with thick outer layers like onions can benefit from a nice wash. Number eight, always wash lettuce. Lettuce leaves are especially tasty to insects like aphids. So farmers have little choice but to spray them with pesticides that eliminate this from happening. Pesticides can make you sick and may even help harbor additional bacteria such as Listeria or E. coli. Investing in a salad spinner is a great way to remove all of the moisture from your lettuce after it's been washed. Number nine, always wash nuts. Soaking nuts before you eat them can help break down the phytic acid on them. Soaking nuts can also neutralize the enzymes in them, which makes them easier to digest. Phytic acid is also found in legumes and grains. If you eat nuts that haven't been soaked and cleaned off, the phytic acid can bind to minerals in your gastrointestinal tract. This prevents them from being absorbed in the intestine and can possibly even create mineral deficiencies. If your body does not digest nuts properly, you may experience digestion issues. To properly soak nuts, all you need to do is soak them in salt water and dry them thoroughly. It's important to soak the nuts in salt water as the salt will help neutralize the enzymes. And here's another fun fact. Not only does soaking nuts help digestion, but it also enhances the flavor of the nuts. Try it out. Number 10, always wash dried fruit. When purchased, dried fruit can be extremely dirty. Even in the event that you buy dried fruit in a package, it is extremely important to wash it and soak it for a few hours to ensure that they're thoroughly washed. Dried fruit is also a large source of sulfate which is a type of food preservative used to preserve both the quality and appearance of certain foods. It's hard to know exactly what we're eating when we buy things from the grocery store, whether it is produce that's been laying out all day or canned items that we find stocked on shelves. It's hard to know for sure what exactly needs to be cleaned and not cleaned, which is why it's important to know and understand what we should be doing with our food before we eat it. Remember, you should avoid washing your chicken and fish before you start cooking, as this can cause bacteria to spread and cause food poisoning. Be sure to wash fruits and vegetables which are sprayed with pesticides as well as things like canned beans. In all honesty, 
It is also always best to clean any type of can before opening and consuming it. Even something like canned pop. You don't know where the can has been or who, or what, touched it before you purchased it. So it's always a good idea to be safe and clean a can before opening it and consuming what's inside. All in all, if you follow basic food safety tips in the kitchen, you should be able to keep any harmful bacteria out of your stomach. When in doubt, Try to wash your food before consuming it. However, please don't go to the extreme and wash something like a loaf of bread. Nobody likes soggy bread. What are some other foods that you think people should always wash and never wash before cooking? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.